I recently saw a video in which a Romuva wedding was being performed. So what is Romuva? Romuva is the indigenous religion of Lithuania. The pre-Christian religion and culture of, of Lithuania. Yeah, Where is Lithuania? Let's take a look at the map. Just in case you're not aware, Lithuania is over here. Yeah, Western Europe, Northwestern Europe, the Baltic Sea, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, the three Baltic nations that were once part of the USSR. And here you have Kaliningrad, which is a different story. So that's Lithuania. Uh, so you uh, Laksha saw a video in which a Romuva wedding was being performed in accordance with Vedic rituals. And I expect there would have been a Vedic priest, yeah, uh, who would be perform an Indian Vedic priest who would perform, who would officiate over this ritual. So the question is, can we encourage Europe to rediscover and embrace its pre-Christian cultures? Good question. So there is a certain underground movement in Europe, which uh, whose objective is to rediscover uh, the pre-Christian traditions and embrace those traditions and bring them again to the forefront. So you have the Romuva movement in Lithuania, Latvia also, I suppose. You have uh, something called, uh, there is a Nordic revivalism also. There's a religion called Asatru or something, which kind of is, uh, is a 21st century uh, embrace of the Nordic religion in which you had these, the gods like Thor, Odin, and so Freya and so on and so forth, which is, well, the, the Nordic Viking pantheon was a, was a, a reflection of the old Vedic pantheon. The entirety of Europe had the same culture overall with different local manifestations and different names of the gods, but overall it was the same. Even in the Slavic regions, there is a movement to kind of rediscover the old Slavic heritage, which is again a continuation of the ancient Vedic heritage. Yeah, so that's what's happening at a certain level in Europe. It's still very much underground. It's still very much in a small minority, but these movements are being are, are visible in various parts of Europe. So the question is, can we encourage Europe to rediscover and, and embrace its pre-Christian cultures? See, that will happen only. See, if you look at India today, everybody is trying to copy and ape the West. Look at the teenagers of today. Look at the kids. Look at Gen Z, Zoomers. What are they doing? They're trying to copy the West. They're trying to ape the West. Why is it? Because the West is so dominant. Because the West is cool. Yeah? The West has very positive and powerful connotations. People want to be cool. People want to copy those who are powerful. In ancient Europe, everybody wanted to be Roman. Everybody wanted to copy Roman styles of, of uh, architecture, sculpture, the way of life and all that. So whichever is the dominant culture, overall, statistically, most people want to copy that, ape that. That's what happens. So if we want Europe to rediscover and embrace its pre-Christian cultures, we in India, our nation needs to rise as a civilization and become one of the dominant powers in the world. Then the pre-Christian traditions will be cool again. So for this cultural shift to happen, India has to rise again. India has to reclaim its historical preeminent role in, in, in the world, economically, militarily, and culturally. India is currently defined as a, so, as a secular socialist nation state. India has to reclaim its position as a civilization, as a civilization state. Right now, we are not there. So when that happens, the pre-Christian cultures of Europe will become cool again. Right now, they're not cool. They're just a small minority, an underground movement. So all of you together need to come together and make India rise again. Once that happens, this cultural change will happen.